Before learning about bus topologies, you'll need to know what some basic network components are. Most networks have three main components, the clients, the routers, and the servers. Clients, sometimes known as workstations, are devices that access data and services provided by a server. Desktop computers, laptops, and smartphones are examples of clients. Routers are devices that are used to connect multiple networks together. For example, in a WAN, a wide area network, multiple LAN, local area networks, could be joined together. Routers used in your home are generally used to connect to the internet, which is the largest example of a WAN in existence. Lastly, servers are the backbone of networks on the internet. Servers store the data you see when you access a web page or download a file off a network. Clients request data from servers, which then send the relevant data back to them. Networks are joined together by mainly physical wires and occasionally through things like Wi-Fi. Because of this, networks can be laid out in many different ways, and the layout of physically of a network is very important in terms of cost, efficiency, and the setting up of a network. In a bus network, every component in the network is joined directly together by a wire. If one client wants to send or receive data to or from another client, they can do so directly without the need for a server. Servers can also be present in these networks, but are not required. For example, let's say Bob logs onto his PC and wants to print off a picture of his pet dog to hang up on his wall. He presses print on his computer and the picture is sent along the wires from his computer to the printer, which then prints it. This might seem obvious, but in many network layouts the picture would first pass through the router and then the router would then send it on to the printer. In another scenario, if Bob wanted to send the picture to his daughter, Emily, the photo would be sent along the wires to Emily's computer, and she'd be able to view it. And lastly, if Bob was to sign into his network computer account, he would be communicating directly with the server. But if Emily was to log into her Twitter account, something that is accessed through the internet, that transmission would be sent to the router, which would then send the transmission through the internet to Twitter's servers.